G'day. My name's Nathan Linzel, and welcome to episode number 10 of The Fine Art of Distraction. Wow, episode 10. I don't know what I'm going to do next week. I don't have 11 fingers. <laughs> but anyway, I really do appreciate you guys being here, and, and welcome. Um, firstly, I just want to show you the dry result from last week with my Infinity Pour, and I think it turned out amazing. Check out this. Like, check out all those 3D effects, like, just going layer after layer after layer. It's so, so, so cool. And I don't know if you can see up here where the metallic sand is, but... It actually has like a, a color shift to it. And it picked up some of the burgundy from over here, which I really wasn't expecting it to do that. So I'm not too sure if you can see that on the camera, but like when I saw that, I'm like, I didn't use any color shift, but yeah, I, I think it's just the, the metallic sort of mix, mixing in with each other. And oh my God, it is so smooth. Like there's no divots, there's no cracks. There's, oh, it's just, it turned out awesome. I'm so happy with it. Now, when I was pouring it, I did sort of envision sort of hanging it like this, like long ways. But then when I was looking at it, I was like looking at it going, no, nah. I think the best way is that way with these bits down the bottom like I, I think that's that's the perfect way to hang it so if if I end up sort of selling it or giving it away I'll sort of tell the person that I think this is the way that it should be hung because I think that looks sick <laughs> so yeah so i am very 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 happy with this guys you <laughs> all righty so now that i've showed you the dry result from my infinity pour um i'm gonna tell you what i'm gonna do today today i'm gonna try to do one of my favorite artists technique um it's an artist by the name of gina deluca um, she sort of created a boulder cell look, which looks amazing. I'm going to try it, but I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to do it. And the only reason I say I'm, I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to do it is because I'm pretty sure she uses American Flow Troll and I can only get Australian Flow Troll. And all you American artists out there are probably going, oh, you lucky bastard, you can only get Australian flow troll. Yeah, I am lucky, but I actually do want to try the American flow troll because I see all you guys doing it and all, all your artwork looks amazing and I want to try it as well. So I'm going to try Gina DeLuca's technique today by mixing two parts flow troll to one part paint but I have a feeling it's still gonna, it's gonna be way too thin, but I'm still gonna do it because that's the recipe that she uses, two to one. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens, eh? <laughs> so now that I've let you know what I'm gonna be doing today, we'll head over to the table and I can show you all the products that we're gonna be using. And yeah, all right, thanks guys. Alrighty then, so here's the products that we've got today, and as you can see, there's not a great deal. All the paints have been mixed with Australian Flow Troll, two to one. The colours that we've got, the base paint itself is from El Raldo de Paolo, and that's Metallic Mint. And I'll tell you what, it is mint. <laughs> Out of all of El Raldo de Paolo's colours, this one is definitely my favorite. It is, yeah, as I said, it's mint. <laughs> Alrighty. The other paints that we've got is from Reeves, and that is metallic gold, metallic copper, metallic silver, and metallic bronze. Now, 
what I'm actually going to be doing with these is I'm going to do a flood coat over the canvas, which is a 20 by 20 inch canvas. And then with the remaining um, flood paint or base paint, whatever you want to call it, I'm literally just going to pour these straight in into the into the jug, basically. Um, so technically, it's a, basically it's a, a straight pour. Uh, okay, so yeah, it's one of the easiest pours that you can do. But yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that I get to do to to get basically get the boulder cells. <laughs> All right, guys, now that I've showed you what products we've got, I'll go ahead and, and mix them with the Flow Troll. As I said, two to one, which that is Gina DeLuca's um, recipe. But again, Gina uses the American Flow Troll. I've got the Aussie Flow Troll. So I think there's going to be a little bit of a difference, but I think it's still going to be pretty cool. All right, so as I said, I'll go ahead and mix these. And then, yeah, then we can start pouring. Thanks guys. Alrighty then. So as you can see, I've got the paints already mixed up and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flood the canvas with the base coat and then with the remaining base coat, I'm gonna pour these four paints into that. So basically we've got Reeves Metallic Gold, Reeves Metallic Copper, Reeves metallic silver and Reeves metallic bronze and then this one up here is my favorite color at the moment which is El Rado de Polo metallic mint and I just love that color it is awesome <laughs> alrighty so give me a second um, so I can um, flood the, um, the the canvas and then we can start pouring you I'll just give it a spin just to sort of spread the paint out. Just let the kinetic energy spin, spin it out further.
Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to start pouring the colors in. And remember when you pour the colors in, the first color that you pour in is the last color that will come out. So the color that you want most dominant, that's the one that you want to pour in first. So I actually want the gold in first, then the copper, then the silver, then the bronze. Alrighty. So I'm literally just going to pour it straight into here, just over here. Alrighty, now the bronze. Now the silver. And then lastly, the bronze. Alrighty, just so you can have a look to see what it looks like in the inside. So, looks like a bit of a mess in there at the moment, but when it comes out, hopefully it's going to look awesome. <laughs> Alrighty, so as I said, I'm just going to do a, a straight pour. Now I'm going to let that sit for probably about five minutes and let all the, the paints and, and all that sort of stuff, all that percolate and yeah, make, do it magic basically. <laughs> Hopefully it works as magic. <laughs> All right. 
Alrighty, so it's been a couple of, it's been about four minutes now. Um, so what I'll do, I'll start like stretching it out, tilting it out, and see if we can actually get some of these cells to pop up. But yeah, I'm not really seeing any cells, but I'm still liking what I'm seeing. So I guess that's the main thing. <laughs> so let's start tilting it out a bit. about you but this looks sick oh my god I absolutely love it yes! <laughs> you yeah oh. oh just look at all that I might just give it a quick um, torch just to get rid of any more air bubbles, but oh my god. Oh. 
Oh, guys, I am, I'm over the moon with this one. Yoo-hoo-hoo! Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Now, Gina DeLuca, I don't know if you're um, going to see this, but this was inspired by you. I know I'm using Australian flow troll instead of American flow troll, but oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I love it. All right, guys, just remember when you're doing a pour like this, there is a lot of excess paint that sort of comes off. So make sure you do wipe your bottom. <laughs> and as I said last week, because you got a stinky bum if you don't. <laughs> and no one wants a stinky bum. <laughs> And oh, oh my God, that looks so cool. I love that section just there. That's sick. And I love all this up here. I love up there. I love everything. Eww! Oh, wow. All right, guys, I'm going to let it sit for a little bit because um, there is a lot of flow troll in it. I'm, I'm assuming that it, it still may, it still may de develop a few more cells over, over a little bit of time. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll come back in, in about an hour and see if, if, see if there's any change. Uh, I'm hoping there's no change because I love what I'm seeing right now. I absolutely love this. This is awesome. All right, guys, give me a bit and I'll come back and see if it's changed. So, yeah. <laughs> All righty then. So, I know I said I'd come back in a couple of hours, but it's actually the next day. <laughs> I got a little bit sidetracked, so... <laughs> But, um, it actually hasn't changed, um, pretty much at all. So I'm, I'm actually so, so happy with how it turned out. Um, yes, it didn't really do the boulder cells. I mean, there's one sort of boulder cell, but, um, I'm still really happy with all this. I mean, it looks like a planet. Like, it's so cool. I love that it looks like a planet. Like, ah, oh, you have no idea how, how happy I am, guys. It's like, I thought I was happy with my infinity pour, and this is just way up there. Like, ah, oh, so happy with it. Um, let me take it down for a close-up, and yeah, I'll, I'll show you some of the the bits to it. <laughs> Give me two seconds. How awesome does that look?
I love all that there. That's so cool. Wow, look at that. Oh, I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. And another thing that I'm actually absolutely loving, like, look at the skin that it's going to create. And the, and the fact that I've got it on the silicon mat, once that dries, I can actually pull that off and, like, use it as for an, an embellishment on, on, on something. That's going to be an awesome skin. Alrighty guys. Well, Yes, <laughs> so as you can really tell, I'm really happy with this. <laughs> Let me put it back up in the in the cradle. Yeah, so guys, uh, uh, again, I'm, I'm over the moon with how this turned out. So, yeah. Um, if you like what you saw today, please give us a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't already subscribed yet, I would absolutely love it if you'd hit the subscribe button. And when you hit that subscribe button, hit the little dark bell and that'll indicate when, that'll pop up when I've, uploaded a new video so yeah and if you think any of your friends would actually like to see this please pass it on to them um yeah <laughs> again guys i'm so happy with how this turned out um yeah i mean it didn't as i said it didn't turn out exactly how i was hoping but i'm still really 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 happy with this you all right, guys. Well, again, thank you for joining me on this episode. Um, it's been so much fun. It really has been a lot of fun. And yeah, this is the fine art of distraction. <laughs>